Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a video on something that I get asked a lot by new people in Star Citizen, um, especially when I find them in global chat asking for help or the guide system or they join our Discord server or comments or anything. Uh, and it's kind of always the same line. Where did you get that gear? Uh, I do a lot of looting in the game, um, not just in missions, but also sometimes when I'm bored I just... I just go looting and I find that a lot of new people don't know that they can get really cool gear for free um, you don't have to go buy gear and it's one of the options you can buy gear in stores for sure but a lot of the really cool rare stuff can't be found in stores it can only be found by looting so I'm gonna do a video today it's probably going to take about half an hour. We'll see how long it takes. Um, and the main reason why it's going to take a little bit longer is because any videos I've seen on this in the past are sort of cut and chopped and just showing the places you can get stuff. They're not showing how to get there, how easy it is, where to find it. Maybe I've missed a few, but I haven't found one. And so I'm just going to make it myself. I'm primarily using this as just like a link I can share to people when they're new and they ask me, but hopefully some other people on YouTube and Twitch find it useful. So we're going to look at a few different things today. Um, one, mining bases. Always the first thing I recommend to new players. Two, uh, ground outposts. You find them at box retrieval missions most often or exploration missions. Uh, three is bunkers, boxes and, and hostels and friendlies. Four is settlements, which we'll look at. Those are the new ones. They're on Microtech and Hurston exclusively at the moment. Um, five will just be other missions there's other places you can find stuff and then six is, is shops um technically there's a seven the player economy you can go into global and buy stuff off other players like myself but uh at the moment this is sort of the list that i use when i want to show people so we're gonna start with a really easy one we're gonna just go to a ground site so if you're new to the game you started out you've started in a city you have very little money um you might be wondering how to get your hands on guns and armor food water ammunition and the most important things there will be undersuits helmets food water multi-tools med guns worry about weapons after that so step one here is we are going to fly down to a mining base now the way I found this was I just looked for anything with the word mining in it for the most part. Um, we're around Microtech, so it's a Shubin mining facility. Uh, Hurston, their HDMS sites, uh, and they're named differently at each planet. Uh, I just like Microtech, so I'm over here. So you're not looking for a security base, you're not looking for a research station, you're looking for a mining facility. Some of these are going to be active, some of these are going to be derelict. Either way you're going to find loot at them. And this is also just by coincidence where you would go to get your ground vehicles as well be one of these sites one of the options and so just pick one fly down to it they're also in armistice so if you're new to the game if you're in a starter ship or something um, you are safe while you're down there uh, i know if you're experienced in the game i'm probably going to get some comments of people being like you know why are you worried it's safe personally i'm not but sometimes you just don't want to be bothered sometimes you're new um, yeah, it's just a, an easy way. So this first one we're going to is going to be an easy source of food and water. Now, I do this after every patch that there's been a wipe. If there's no wipe, I just go buy stuff. Um, I just go to a store and buy a stack of uh, med pens and uh, cruise smoothies and that sort of thing. But if you have no money, if you're brand new, then this is going to be really valuable for you. So flying down here. Let's go third person. It's gonna look better on the stream. Oh, is that snow or is that another player? See that ball of light down there? I think that's actually a player ship. It is a player ship. It's just so small I can't lock onto it from this range. There he is. Of course he's gonna take the bigger pad. Why wouldn't he take the bigger pad in his little ship? All right. Well, we're gonna do this. It's not very common that you run into another player at these sites, so don't worry about that too much. Eh, a little bit of a skiddy landing, but we're fine. I was distracted in third person there. 
All right. So once you're one of these sites, just hop out. Like I said, you're an armistice. Nobody's going to be able to bother you. Be careful getting in and out of your ship. There are people who will try to board your ship and, and take it or take what you have in your ship. So depending on the ship you have, you just want to exit carefully. Personally, I'm in the Corsair right now. So I'm just going to go at the roof. And if that guy out there is up to no good, he can't do much. And here we are on the roof. Okay, so there's multiple buildings here. This one over here is where you get your ground vehicles. There could be loot in there. There's bigger buildings here and here. I don't know what this guy's doing. He might be doing the same thing. So there's a chance we're going to find some already open boxes. But we'll deal with that when we approach it. So just go inside any of the buildings. And you're looking for white or red loot boxes, or both. So let's take a look. They'll usually be on the ground or on the counters. There's nothing in this one, which can happen. It's all just randomly generated, so there might be nothing when you go into your first building. Look at my baby over there. I love the Corsair. I'll probably do a deep dive on the Corsair soon. You get a lot of people in PvP circles, you know, who just love to call it garbage because it doesn't have good shields or hull and it's a glass cannon and all that. But it's not a PvP ship, it's just a really good multi role home. I, I live on mine. It's just, it's a great ship. Okay, white loot box. These will have clothing and utilities. The cool thing about these ground sites is they have local inventory. So if it won't all fit in your backpack, don't worry about it. You just open local, take the multi-tools, I'll take the flares, that's your personal choice, and these smoothies. These smoothies refill both food and water. So I always take them, stockpile them, always carry a few with you, but keep the rest at a station wherever your spawn is set. You die, you lose your stuff. You re-equip, you get smoothies waiting for you. Completely free. Free multi-tool, one of the rarer colors. And I take flares because they're good markers in uh, crew engagements. I'm going to check the rest of the rooms. There we go. This is a red box. This will be armor. Uh, just one set of arms, but that's all random. Could be an undersuit, could be something rare, could be something expensive. You never know. So we're just checking all of them. Sometimes they're on these shelves, so just don't just check the ground. Nothing here this time. Nothing in there. But they'll often be, there we go, in the corner. And they can be anywhere in these buildings. I always take these blue flares as well, and the colored ones. Multi-tool attachment, there we go, we got a full set and more of these. So these two would go together. You've now got a free multi-tool, free tractor attachment, some flares, some smoothies, a set of arms, and some clothing there if you wanted to take that. You put that all in local. When you get back to your ship, you drag it from local into your ship, which I'll show you. And you've now started the process of stockpiling some stuff. Now you could rinse and repeat this. If you're a non-combat person, you're like in a, a vulture or a prospector or something, and you just want to farm some loot for a couple of days, you could just jump from site to site, and um, nobody's going to bother you. Come in for a landing, you do some looting, get your hands on some free stuff, fly back to a station, store it, and uh, if somebody's brand new and they're looking to you know, take it easy and get a whole bunch of stuff. This is the answer. I was checked behind you. Anybody else trying to sneak in your ship? No. Let's do a cool third person look. There we go. And that's mining bases, mining sites, mining facilities, whatever you want to call them. Um, whole bunch of stuff for free. Before you leave the area, this is the easiest thing to forget because I almost just forgot it, but just go to local, go to vehicle. My vehicle's already got a whole bunch of stuff in it. Move all. Now it's in my ship. It's not here anymore. Do that at a few places. You won't run out of stuff. 
Okay. Second one is going to be outposts. Outpost missions can be found in a variety of places. Lately, they've been showing up more with retrieval ops than anywhere else. So I'm just going to take this retrieval op mission. But you can also find them under bounty hunting, mercenary, investigation. They'll pop up. But you're looking for something that tells you that you're going to uh, an outpost. I'm just going to show you where to find that. Retrieval op. Collect package from derelict outpost. It's actually three separate outposts. We're just going to go to one for this video. Um, but I'll show you why when we get there. Now these have a chance of hostiles, so they're not as low key as these mining bases. However, it's not usually a high number of hostiles and because they're in the open air, you can usually take them out with your ship. So you're more secure at these than you are at say a bunker or a settlement. We're just going to get clear of atmosphere, and then we're going to jump around to one of these sites. I think there was one nearby here, actually, so that'll be easier. One of the key things when you're new to Star Citizen is money. Um, I always advise people not to worry about too much about money, because right now it's an alpha. Money gets wiped. It doesn't matter. Um, and even once that's over... Personally, I get more enjoyment of the game if I just care about the gameplay and the progression and less about how many dollars I have. But there's also no reason to spend money that you don't need to. Any of this stuff that you loot that you don't need, you can also sell it. And there's an entirely new economy coming in 3.23 that's going to raise the prices of everything, which means most likely it's going to raise the sell prices as well. And so you should be able to get a decent value for many of these. Wow, there's actually one really close to another mining facility. Interesting. I didn't know that was there. So that was a mining base. This will be a ground base or outpost. and the ground outpost will be marked by the package. These outposts do not have jump markers. They are derelict, they're ruins. So there's nothing to jump to. So this one was close to an existing ground site, a mining base, which is why I chose it. Sometimes they'll be very, very far and you'll have to sort of travel a long distance by either flying in a straight line or jumping and dropping and jumping and dropping. So I recommend finding one that is as close as possible to something you can actually jump to. Now, if you're as new to the game as you probably are that you're looking at this information, I'd also recommend you do the mission. I will not be completing the box mission for the sake of this video and to keep it short. But I would definitely go get all the packages and I would keep the money because at this stage of the game for me, especially this close to a patch, 10 grand is not a lot of money in the game. But... It would be after a full wipe with zero dollars. So just keep that in mind. You're not gonna see me do the mission. I would highly recommend that you do it if you are new. Be aware when you're approaching these sites, there can sometimes be hostile ships. You want to keep your eyes open. Um, I'm talking NPCs. I guess there could be hostile players, but it's not likely, middle of nowhere. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to go third person again because it looks cooler. A little bit of light flare there. That's just a bug. Let's see what we got here. Back to first person. So what we're looking is to see if there's any hostiles. There are. You see them right there. So we're going to get a little bit of combat here. Before I leave the ship, we're just going to do a quick scan. I don't see any hostile ships coming in. Doesn't mean they're not going to. I might have to get back to the ship quickly. But that's the risk of flying a ship with no crew. Usually on the Corsair, I have crew with me. But we'll take this risk for the video. Let's 
We're gonna go to the roof again. I don't think I have a sniper with me. Oh, I do. Ha. Let's see what we can take out without leaving the area. Oh, some lag there. That wasn't good. Okay, this guy over here is on to me. So the NPCs are not super responsive today. This is proving to be very easy because of it. Don't always expect it to be like this. They could be highly dangerous. And if you're new, I don't want you to die because you saw me doing this on easy mode. That's gonna hurt a bit. There we go. And switch to a close range gun. Heavy armor on, a little slow moving. This is a derelict outpost. So we're just gonna sweep the area for any hostiles before we start looting too much. Might have gotten them all. And then I'll show you where to find this stuff. There's our packages. I don't see any more of them. Oh, yes I do. See, if he was reactive, I should have died. He saw me long before I saw him. But alpha is alpha. Okay. I don't think there's any more. We have a number of buildings here. What you're looking for is various colors of boxes on the ground. The white ones are the hardest to see and it's mostly white ones at these outposts. So there's easy places to check, like going in these little side buildings and just checking under the tables on the ground just to see are there any boxes in here. I don't see any. Then we move on to the next little kind of outbuilding here. Just moving slow because of the armor, as I said. Okay, white box here. I guess gray, gray box. There is no local inventory at these sites, so I'd recommend only taking what you need. So you would take the food and water, multi-tool if you wanted it, some mineables, aphorite. If you have no money, if you're new, 100% take this. That's a sellable. And all you're going to do is just search all these little kind of nooks and crevices under things mixed in with the snow you're looking for hidden boxes there's one here once you know what you're looking for they pop out to you but might not right away dolivon you would take that food water you would take that um i'm not going to take more right now but multi-tool attachments food water flares i usually take dolivon that's all stuff you can take, put in your ship. If your backpack gets full, I forgot to say, try and be wearing a backpack if you don't have one. Just fill your pockets and then go back to your ship and empty it into your ship as often as you can, okay? Um, I think we got a box in here. This is a smaller box. This will probably be just food and water. Yeah, food, water, flares. I would take all the smoothies. Take everything if you can, but the smoothies are the most useful. Another one here. More smoothies. So at this point, if I had taken all of this, I would have like two weeks worth of food and water. That's a lot of bottled smoothies. There's often a box up there that you need to move a crate to get to. There is not one this time, but we will find something else that we have to climb to and I will show you. You also want to check on top of every tower. So what I'm going to do for this one is a ladder. That's an NPC cutlass that luckily did not blow up my ship because I had no clue it was there. I have my volume very low, so the mic's not going to pick it up, and I completely missed that. That's something to watch out for to make sure they don't uh, blow you up. Just passing through this dead pirate, that's always good. And there's two areas to check. One is over the edge there, so you would drop down. I don't see one. One is here. Again, I don't see one this time through, but there is often a box in both of those places. Okay. 
Everywhere else I'll leave up to you. Just check all the corners, check on top of things, check in the outbuildings. Um, sometimes you have to move stuff, which is the last thing I'm going to show you here. So there's often a box back there, uh, which you would need to use your tractor beam. So bring one. If you don't have one, well, we just found two, right? We found multi-tools and tractor attachments. So I would make sure that you use those uh, to search behind things. Now we're going to put this crate here for a reason. Uh, let's try a climb here. Climbing can be a little bit of a weird mechanic in this game. Um, until they fully fleshed it out, it can be a little tricky to figure out what you can jump and grab onto. Just play around with it, you'll find it. And once you're up here, the reason why I said this is because I see a box up there. And so you can't, you can't make this jump, so you kind of platform it. You grab this. You put it uh, probably, uh, let's guess here. I'm trying to balance it on the edge. And do the double jump. Beautiful. And let's see what's in here. More mineables, more rare multi-tools, more food and water. So often these boxes will have rare helmets in them. They didn't this time. That's just luck of the draw. But if you keep trying them, you will eventually start finding rare helmets. Like, for instance, the Artemex that I'm wearing. Okay? So that's how you search them. While you're here, if you're brand new and you don't have anything, well, you could take all the pirates that you killed. If you like pirate armor, take it. Wear it. If you don't, which I don't, put it in your ship and sell it. Put it in your ship, fly it to a station, and sell it. They're also carrying weapons. P4s are good, solid, reliable guns. If you don't like them, sell them. So all of this stuff from clearing this out is yours. Take it, put it all on your ship, strip it into local, and keep it, store it, sell it. doesn't matter. But it's a whole lot of free stuff. Typically what I do is I keep everything for the first little bit in case I don't find anything better. So keep it. Take it to your home station, which is wherever your spawn is set to. I recommend an orbital. And once you've sorted the orbital, then basically you have more and more stuff that if you die, or if you just want to change, you can restock. At this point, I have so many pages of gear that if I die, I don't even bother going back for my gear anymore. I just put on new cool gear uh, and continue on with my day. Okay. So that's derelict ground outposts. The third one is more dangerous, but more straightforward. Uh, most people who play this game or who have heard about this game or watched videos will know about bunkers. Bunkers are a mission type, uh, mercenary missions, where there's hostiles and friendlies. You are defending the friendlies from the hostiles, but there's also often loot. So missions, Contracts, mercenary, defend site, defend location, whatever. Accept offer, track. Now, something of note right now in the current patch, bunkers are a little bugged. The lieutenants are not spawning, and many of the bunkers are spawning as Xeno threat mission bunkers because of the community event going on right now, the overdrive initiative. So when we arrive at this bunker, it may be bugged, but the, the concept remains the same. And again, get clear of atmosphere. Now, if you are new to the game, feel free to jump in Discord. There's a link to it under the video, uh, also on my profile. Just tag me, ask for help. Uh, I love looting. I love showing new people around. I'm very happy to just bring you on my ship and take you out and do this together. Um, I'm also happy to just share some gear if you're super brand new and, and you don't even have a suit to go do this with. Um, we can always get you set up with some basic stuff. All right, so we're gonna jump to MT Data Center TMG XCV-2. I read that out loud for, out loud for something to say. Um, it doesn't matter which one you go to, just go wherever the mission takes you. Oh, 
I'm hoping that's still on the day side, but I feel like it might not be. You can see it getting darker. <laughs> Just barely. Well, I hope the sun's coming up and not setting. It's just much more cinematic for a video if the sun's up. So we'll find out when we get close if it's bugged because it'll warn us that we're entering a Xenothread area, but regardless, Mobiglass, Contracts, Mercenary, take a defense site, and this would be a great way to get a whole bunch of stuff, but it involves a bit more work because you got to survive combat, uh, especially if you're solo, and you need to carry everything out with you. The mining bases, you can store it in local and drag it into your ship. The ground outposts, you can kind of park your ship nearby and just toss everything in. A bunker, you need to bring everything up out of the bunker. So it becomes a bit more work. Now, once you have some money, you could go buy a box or you could make a box, bring it down with you and save a little bit of the carrying. But for the sake of today, we're not going to do that. We'll cover that in a different video. All right, we'll find out if it's bugged pretty quickly here. Someone's locking me. Hmm, wonder what that was. Okay, so this is not a bugged bunker. That's great. Oh, yes it is. So that was the bug that's going on right now. Um, basically what happened was the community event that's going on right now has a group called Xenothreat taking over bunkers. And they did something weird when they set up the event and it's made it so that all of the bunkers think that they are Xenothreat bunkers. So you saw when I was flying in it said entering Microtech controlled area. That was telling me I'm allowed to be here. I have this mission. And then the bunker turret opened fire on me anyway because it's a bug that will not normally happen but it can so if you're new you're flying in in a pretty small ship be careful keep an eye out make sure you're not trespassing make sure the turrets aren't firing at you when they shouldn't be park far away and walk in or drive in if you have a vehicle or park behind something whatever you have to do to protect your ship for the mission. So because of the size of the Corsair and the area we're landing in, we just had to land a little bit further away, so we're just going to walk in. It's not too far. There's no need for the vehicle. I think we're fine. One thing to note, I only destroyed one turret. You see that? That's not the one I destroyed. So it's possible there's more players here. Uh, there is a community event going on, as I mentioned. They could be in the bunker doing the event. Um, I don't consider myself to be a hostile player. I don't go looking for people to attack for no reason. But in Star Citizen, if you're in an area like this, basically you treat anybody as hostile until you know otherwise. If I have to, I'll put them down and then talk to them and revive them if they are non-hostile. Elevators up means there's probably nobody down there. Down we go. These missions are a lot of fun. They're great in a group. Uh, as they level up, they pay more, they get more difficult, they have more waves, they, you know, they, they have heavier guards in them that can yield better loot. The timer's gonna start in a minute. Okay, so we got a minute until the mission starts, and I'm not gonna do the whole mission for this video. But once you're down here, you'll find multiple kinds of loot boxes before you even kill any hostiles or guards and take their stuff. You have medical boxes. If you're new, I would take everything in here, but especially take all the med guns, the paramed refills, and the med pens. These are going to save you a lot of money and time later if you stockpile them. Take them to your home station. 
keep them in local and always carry a med gun, a tractor beam, and med pens with you at all times. You just clip them on your person, stockpile them in a station, good to go. Guns sitting right there. If you had none, you could grab one. Bunch of friendly guards. I'm just running around checking for the usual loot spots. There could be a box there sometimes. That's another medical box. We'll ignore that one because we've already covered that. These bunkers will, for now, as of 322.1, will have three different kinds of potential boxes in them. Medical, which I showed you. Armor, which you saw at the ground sites. We'll see what's in here. One of the more rare FS9s. I'm going to leave it because I have a few. Ammo, some legs. If you have nothing, take all of it. Sell it, keep it, whatever, but it's, it's free stuff. And just search the whole bunker. Watch out for the hostiles because the mission started. Another armor box. Helmets. So you could take those if you like them or again, sell them. Another medical box back here. What I'm trying to do is find the third kind of box for you in here. Now, these pirates are all wearing different kinds of armor as well. So like I said at the ground site, if you want to keep it, keep it. Otherwise, sell it. Some of it's actually worth a decent amount of money. Sniper rifles, well, sniper and, and a DMR, but these, these both sell for pretty good. Um, pirate armor, like I said, they also have ammunition all over them. So you don't have to buy ammunition either. You can just stockpile off of their bodies. The third kind of loot box I'm not seeing down here, but that's the uh, utility boxes. I'll show you one of those when we find one, but that's where you'd find tractor beams and tiger's claws, which are both things that you want to collect and stockpile. Now wave one is over. We're not going to stay for all of them, but let's say this guard, sorry, this pirate was wearing rare gear and you wanted to take this with you. So you've grabbed the guns that you want, you clip them to your back. You've grabbed the ammunition, the tiger's claws, all that stuff. You're ready to go. The mission's over. Let's say this was really rare gear. It's not. But if it was, just pick it up. Tractor beam. Always have a tractor beam. And bring it with you out of the bunker. If you have friends with you, everybody brings one. And I'll show you why. Now the downside to this is going to be that I told you guys I wouldn't do any cuts so you could see every step, but now you're going to watch me do some walking, so I apologize for that. If you really need some help with this and you're not a Discord person, um, my gamer tag is the same as my, my YouTube handle, my Twitch handle. You're also welcome to just add me. The next thing you see me in game, just join on me and send me a message. Um, I'm always very happy to walk people through this, especially if I have my crew on. Um, either me or somebody else can can take you out. So a smaller ship, you'd be parked closer, you know. You'd probably put yourself right there if you had a Pisces or something. But since I'm in a bigger ship, we're 200 meters away, we're just going to carry the body of the ship. The best ships for bunkers are the smallest ones you can get in that have an interior. But make sure you have an interior if you want to do what I'm about to show you. Uh, my vote is always the Pisces or the Cutter. They're very easy to land everywhere. They have interiors. They're fast. Um, you can park them anywhere. And what you want to do is park it right by the entrance to the bunker so that if you've loaded up the elevator with stuff, uh, you can get it out of the bunker and into your ship much quicker than what I'm showing you here. A little bit of lag there. Ooh, a lot of lag. Uh, if you are new to the game, it's not always this laggy. It has good days and bad days. If you're experienced in the game and just watching this for the hell of it, um, you know what I'm talking about. Let's 
So, let's say this was super rare gear. You've come out of the bunker, put it in your ship. This is the easy part, okay? Once you have a body in your ship, or eight bodies in your ship, or 20 bodies in your ship, or whatever, I want you to go to vehicle on one side and external on the other after clicking loot. Give yourself an area to drag stuff, like here. Grab the undersuit, always the undersuit, of the NPC or player gear, and drag it into, lo into local. It's going to bring everything with it. I don't know if that's a bug or if it's intended, but that's how it currently works. So what you could do is park your Pisces or your cutter, whatever it is, right by the front door of the bunker, go down, do the whole mission, find the gear that you want, carry it to the elevator, fill that elevator with stuff, and then ride the elevator up and stand there with your tractor and just toss it all in the back of your ship. Strip all the guards down, all the pirates down, toss the boxes and the guns in, store it all in local as much as you can carry, and you now have, you could very easily, in the time that I just did that, if, if you're parked closer, you could have five or six full sets of gear. It might not be gear you love, but it's free. It's free, it's quick, it comes with stuff. The pockets have ammo, they have med pens, they have all kinds of stuff on them. Uh, you've now stockpiled a bunch of free gear. So, in the amount of time that we've been streaming so far, or recording, or whatever, half an hour, we have food and water for a week we could easily have had armor guns for uh, several deaths um, and we haven't even uh, excuse me a settlement yet which is what we're gonna do now flying in third person is just so cinematic for for recording I love it So what we're looking for here is remove illegal occupants. There we go, Aster's clearing. Now, there are many of these outposts and there are many missions that lead to them at Hurston and Microtech. The reason why I chose Aster's clearing is the same reason why I would choose Dunborough. They have a local inventory. So not all of these settlements have a local inventory, and you will learn which ones do and which ones don't. It basically depends whether it's civilian or not. But the civilian ones actually have local, and they spawn a lot of enemies. And so you can, you can go in there and kill 20 or 30 hostiles, and once you're sure you're clear, you can do what I just showed you in the back of the ship and strip them into local within five, 10 minutes and have pages and pages of gear. That might get patched eventually, but it is so easy right now. I'll apologize for, for viewers for sipping the coffee with the, the video going and not doing any cuts. I told you guys I wanted to show you every step of the way, not do cuts, not do edits, not do transitions, just show you the actual gameplay and how long it takes. And that means that I occasionally need, uh, I need a drink of caffeine. I do a lot more live streams. Um, I do them on Twitch. You can find me under the same name. Uh, there's also a link under the video. Um, I also do a lot of short videos on walkthroughs of ships and lore. So most of my videos are 8-10 eight, eight, minutes long. I'm going to start doing these longer gameplay ones around crew combat, finding stuff, um, live events, etc. Uh, so if you like this kind of thing, you know, consider subscribing and all that. I don't stream full time, but I am going to start trying to do it more because I do enjoy spreading knowledge about this game. 
Uh, I did the same thing with Elite Dangerous back in the day, and I'd like to get into it for Star Citizen as well. Okay, so it's pitch black out. This is not very cinematic for a video, an upload, but uh, we'll make do. Let's at least go third person. Another plus to doing these in a smaller ship is you wouldn't have to slow down your approach as much as I just did. The Corsair is not a fast stopping ship, so keep that in mind when you're doing these. Go as small as you can. Let's just find somewhere we can land such a big ship. Of course there's bigger, you know, but I wouldn't be trying to land bigger. If I was in the Carrick, for instance, I would just fly down to the Pisces, leave my crew up in orbit. It just works out much better. All right, let's do this. And there's going to be hostiles, and we're going to have to get them all. We'll see how many we can get from the roof again. That's always fun. This video is not about the combat. It's not about the missions, so... Forgive me for not narrating that. The point is to get you the gear. Oh, well, they're all clustered together at least. That's making it easier. The thing with these ground sites is you, you can actually see them spawning because they're so glitchy right now. And we're out of ammo in that. Seven left. Alright, let's do this. These are civilians. Civilian. These new settlements are so cool, by the way. Like, they're just really cool to visit. They're a bit buggy right now, as I said, but they are really interesting sites. Such a bad reaction speed on them. He, he didn't react at all. Oof. You know what? I'm going to leave the lag in because everyone deserves to see how rough it can get sometimes. But that was that was not good. We're basically getting big lag spikes here. But it's going to serve us because they're not going to react to us. These missions are way more fun, of course, when they're reactive and they're running around and they're shooting, but... If you play Star Citizen, you know to expect stuff like this. Last bullet, too. Okay, mission complete. Let's ignore how buggy that was. So, you've landed, you've taken them all out, the site has local inventory. You go around, you go to every single one of them if you're new. You know, if you're not new, take your time. Pick what you like. I like these legs. Anything else, anybody who's new, just go in here, grab the biggest thing you can. It'll pull everything with it. You can take the clothing if you want to. You don't need to. But every single one of them that you strip down with the antiquated selection system that they're replacing soon. FS9s. So those are actually rare. You now have an FS9, ammunition, pistols, med pens, all in local. 
And you go to every body and you do that. This one will have a sniper on him. It's got sniper ammo. Just strip them all into local and do the same thing you did at the mining base. When you get to your ship, drag it all into your ship. But we killed, I think it was 15, 17 hostiles. That's 15 to 17 full sets of armor, undersuits, chest, ammunition, weapons, medical supplies. Once you've stripped them all into local, go looking for other loot boxes. This site, for instance, I just spotted it from a distance. Can I climb this? No, I cannot. All right, we're going to find another way around. Uh, anybody who's watching and noticing some stutter, that's not you. The, the site is stuttering. These sites have really bad lag sometimes. Loot box. Gold subscriber loot box. Microid helmet, some rare Inquisitor arms, a blue Morningstar helmet, a 16x scope, as well as some other ammunition and such. It's not a bad find. Search around for more of those boxes, drag it all into local. Search all the bodies, drag it into local. Look for the guns, everything. By the time you've finished this, we've been recording for about 45 minutes here, we have at least 15 full sets of gear, food, water, multi-tools, everything. Like I said, bit of lag here. This is getting a bit rough. But if you stripped all these guys, that's more stuff stored in local, including ammunition for FS9s and the gun itself, which you can't purchase. And that's the top four ways to do it. Very little time, an hour or two of gameplay, and then fly it all back to your home port, store it in local, set your spawn, and you're set. Now there are other ways. The top four I've shown you, there are other mission types that will also net you gear. Uh, things like 890 jump missions, reclaimer missions, that sort of thing uh, will spawn enemies that will have gear if you like that kind of mission. Um, salvage missions do not yet but we know that's coming where you'll find loot on the racks and stuff on the shelves that's i'm super stoked for that uh don't bother looking for that yet um npc combat if you shoot down a ship in space around the ground and you go to the wreckage you're going to find the crew inside um the pilots of the npc cutlasses often wear fortifier helmets which are pretty rare so a lot of opportunity there for you to go farming some gear if you prefer space combat Depending where you go, it also affects the gear you get. There's ground sites that have microid gear, or duster gear, or um, nine tails gear. Heavy, medium, light. You could also go into bunkers like we did before, but either as a hostile, kill some guards, or wait for the pirates to kill some guards. Now you can get guard gear, which I think looks cooler. So you can get from each of the main factions their guard gear. Uh, there's also shops. So the easiest but most expensive way is to simply go to a store and buy some gear. But a lot of the stuff that we found today cannot be found in shops. It's only lootable. So keep that in mind. Um, in addition to this, there are certain sets of gear that are only available in certain places. So the helmet that I'm wearing, the black Artemex, is really only found around Hurston because that's what their elite guards wear but sometimes pirates there will also be wearing it because they've taken it from the guard so learn what you like figure out where it's from get as much as you can for free sell what you don't need and then use that to buy what you do want I know I like the heavy black defiance chess piece and the medium black dust-up chess piece both of which are worn by medium and heavy guards around Art Corp so if a wipe had just happened, which it didn't, but if it had, I would go start at Art Corp and go do low-level bunkers, sit outside in my ship, let the pirates kill the guards, go in and kill the pirates, take all the guard gear, take all the pirate gear, load up my ship, two or three bunkers, I'd keep all the chess pieces that I want, all the guns that I want, I'd go to a shop and I'd sell the rest and make 10, 20, 30,000, whatever, on top of the mission, 30, 60, 90,000, plus call to arms, I've made 200,000 in a couple hours of bunkers after a wipe very easily doing that. And that was the point of this, uh, this video. So 
what did we learn? I sound like Jared. But, <laughs> but really, what did we learn? You do not have to buy gear. You can get plenty of gear for free by doing the steps that I showed you. You also have the option, once you have some money, of going into global and seeing if any players are selling gear. I'm often selling gear. Um, you can, of course, play the game in a white suit and not wear gear. But not everyone enjoys that. I personally don't. I like to gear up and, and feel like I look cool and that sort of thing. Um, they go in level of risk, mining bases being the least risky, all the way up to those settlements I feel are more risky than bunkers because there's more sight lines. It can be dark, they can hit you from those. But that's how I would do it. And then the next step above that is how do you stock up on the stuff? Do you start spreading it around in multiple stations? Do you stock your ship? Do you keep guns on the racks? My ship's fully stocked. I've got food and water under the bunks. I've got weapons on the racks. I've got stuff on the tables. You don't have to do that. You don't have to play it that way. Um, that's it. That's the video. So that took us... How long have we been recording for? Let's see. That took us 51 minutes. Let's call it 50 minutes because I was talking there at the end. We picked up plenty of gear, plenty of money's worth, completed some missions, or, or would have if I'd chosen to do so. Lots of free stuff. I'm now going to fly back to my home station by Genie around Art Corp. And I'm going to stock stockpile it all or sell some, and I'm good. You'll learn what you like. You'll learn how to look for it. If you have questions about where to find certain stuff, if there's a set of gear that you absolutely love that you just have no clue where to get it, you can use the website, Seastone. I'll put a link in the description. Or comment on the video, which helps me, but I'll answer you. I'll tell you if I know where to find it. I'll tell you where I found it before. Or you can join my Discord. Uh, you can ask questions in there. we got plenty of guys who love loot as much as I do who can help you find it. Otherwise, um, thank you for tuning in. My next video like this will likely be a fully crewed Carrick video because I love the Carrick and I love to show what it can do. Um, and we'll do another gameplay video when the next stage of the Overdrive event drops, probably later this week, uh, as we run that as a full crew. Thanks very much, and I will catch you next time.